So tomorrow is Force Friday, which is the day that Disney shows off all the crazy new Star Wars stuff they've been working on. Disney invited us to this random unmarked building here to check out some of it a little bit early, so let's go. We got to check out five upcoming Star Wars products that are going to be announced at tomorrow's Force Friday event, each one with some sort of tech twist to it. First up was Lenovo's Jedi Challenges. It's an augmented reality game running on the company's new AR headset, Mirage. I strapped on the headset, pushed a button on my lightsaber to fire it up, and BAM! I was dueling with Kylo Ren. A faint line indicates where your opponent is about to strike next, and you've got to rush to orient your lightsaber to block it. As you progress, the incoming flurries are going to get faster and more complicated, so the game's going to get harder. Block a few attacks, and it's time to swing, and yeah, yeah, I know my lightsaber stance could use some work. It was one of the better augmented reality experiences I've ever had, and one that I really wanted to spend more time with. When seen through the headset, the lightsaber beam really seems to come out of the hilt of that lightsaber controller. It's just, it's awesome. <laughs> this is awesome. <laughs> Jedi Challenges also comes with a playable version of that hollow chessboard game you might remember seeing on the Millennium Falcon back in A New Hope, along with an all-new real-time strategy battle game. The kit includes the Mirage AR headset that taps your smartphone as its brain, a tracking beacon that tells the headset where the floor is, and a super slick replica of the lightsaber handed down from Anakin to Luke and now to Rey. It'll cost 200 bucks when it goes on sale in November, which seems a bit steep for what is arguably a few really cool mini games, but hopefully Lenovo builds more on top of this AR platform to make it more worthwhile. Meanwhile, consumer drone maker Propel is re-releasing the X-Wing, TIE Fighter, and Speeder Bike drones they released last year, albeit in higher numbers this time around to make them a little bit easier to find. These things have built-in lasers for drone-to-drone -drone combat with support for up to 24 pilots flying in the air at once. They've also built an all-new app with a practice mode to let you fly a virtual simulation of your drone between real-world sessions. And for all the tinkery types out there, the $99 Little Bits Droid Inventor Kit lets you build your own droid be it an R2 unit or something completely new. It's gonna come with a bunch of motors, a bunch of sensors, droid parts, stickers, and an app with step-by-step -step videos to help your budding engineers build a bot from the ground up. Hasbro is working on an accessory they call the Force Link Band. You strap it on your wrist, pick up a Force Link enabled action figure, and it'll detect which one you're holding and make sounds accordingly. Rebels are gonna shout lines of encouragement, spaceships will zoom by, and Chewbacca will let out his signature roar. But, you know, isn't trying to do Chewie's roar pretty much the best part of playing Star Wars? Ah, wrong. Ah, nope, still can't do it. And last, but by no means least, is the new stuff from Sphero. They've got two new toys in the works this time. First up is the legend, it's R2-D2. Sphero always takes their toys to a whole new level, and this R2 unit is no exception. <laughs> like the one in the movies, this R2 is on two legs while it's just standing around, but when it comes time to roll, a third leg is going to pop out of its body from nowhere. It's a small detail, but it makes it one of the most accurate remotely controlled R2s ever sold, and it's damn cool to see in person. Spoiler alert! The next toy we saw is based on a character that hasn't really been shown yet outside of leaks. With that said, it's one that's probably going to be everywhere leading up to this next movie's release, so you're probably not going to be able to avoid it. But, as someone who wore headphones while in line for Force Awakens just to avoid the spoilers, if you want to pause the video here, I'll understand. This is BB-9E, and he's the First Order's answer to BB-8. Think BB-8, just, you know, more dark and menacing. This toy is pretty similar to the BB-8 toy that Sphero built for Force Awakens, with a cool new trick. The detachable head here pulls power through the magic of wireless induction, allowing it to light up without any wires or dedicated batteries. It's going to pull its power right from that main unit as soon as you snap it in place. Both R2 and BB-9E can be programmed to roll around your house, they come with pre-programmed animated actions, and as crazy as it seems, can watch the movies with you and react to things on the screen. The good bots are going to bleep and bloop with happiness when the rebels take down an at, -AT. Uh, BB-9E is going to roll around in excitement when Luke gets his hand chopped off. <laughs> he gets... Sphero's R2-D2 is going to cost about 180 bucks when it ships, and BB-9E will cost about 150 bucks. And there you go. It's a little sneak peek at all the stuff we saw leading into Force Friday ahead of The Last Jedi. So, this has been Greg Comparic. Thank you for tuning in.